Okay, I just wanted to show what happens when you don't paint, when you just do a quick job on painting wooden boxes. And this is why we're moving to New Plus because there's a lot of work that goes into getting wooden boxes prepared. Here's Hive 15. You can see that the rot, because um, the person I bought this off painted inside and outside, but um, just two coats or one undercoat I think and two top coats maybe and I didn't sort of know any better back then and um, so I've just been using the boxes up but this one's not even been in the field for a year and it's got rot all through there there's moisture there's rot all through here there's mushrooms growing at the side there's rot at the front it just gets into the joins and it wraps around the corners so we're going to be replacing this one today with a plastic a recycled plastic box and um, yeah I just wanted to show just how these just you know, I can put my finger through that it's just rot so quick in damp areas and then that's going to bring moisture into your hive and um, you know, promote chalk brood and other diseases that you just don't want to have anything to do with. And it's just so avoidable. So, yeah, try to keep, if you're going to use wooden boxes, lots of coats, um, you've really got to treat the wood before you start painting it. You've got to make sure all the joins are completely airtight. Um, and, uh, well, I'll just, there's lots of different ways to do it, but just make sure you do it properly. So this is um, the like this is a new a new box that's um, made by New Plus, which is what we're moving towards. And um, yeah, you can I mean you don't have to paint it. This was the, the breast cancer fundraising um, boxes that I participated in getting some. But yeah, they've got the ventilated base still. It's all made out of solid plastic. They've got. Um, you know, they, they probably will last for 30, 40 years, never have to repaint. They still have little gaps here and the bees will seal that up with propolis and they do retain a bit of moisture inside when it's really damp and humid because um, it's plastic, it doesn't sort of absorb and, and everything, the moisture through the wood. So. Um, there's pros and cons to both, but I mean, when you look at that, that has lasted one year. This will last 40 years, and condensation is still in both. Um, you know, we we just gotta we just gotta move to the easier option. And no maintenance, no maintenance of this box. Like literally, six screws either end. Well, Craig's gone a bit overboard with putting a bit more in. Um, but yeah, you can literally just screw them together in the field and just have a flat pack box carry around with you of um, supers and everything. Really good for storage, storing it in the car that way. Anyway, we like them and I'm loving the pink ones. All right, when? from now. <laughs> Hang uh, on. Start. Go. <laughs> okay, we'll leave that in just because you're very cute. Um, so, as I said before, this box is stuffed. Uh, so Craig's just um, transferring them over into their new home. And hopefully they will be breast cancer aware in their pink box. Their pink box. And you can see, even when he's pulled the, la the frame at the end out, a piece of the box from the inside stuck to the frame. Like it's just... There's a hole just here somewhere. Yeah, right there. <laughs> that one. Yeah, it's just disintegrating. And like I said, that 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 was a brand new box, and it's um yeah, it's been in the field one year. Um, so babe, if you were going to prepare a wooden box, what's your process? Um, he does it differently. Everyone does it differently. Yes. So I, I treat my boxes with with copper naphthenate. Um, I wouldn't recommend everyone does it. It's a pretty nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. And there's a pretty big process you got to follow to keep everything safe. And you let it sit for a long time after that too. 
Yeah, I, I, I dip the boxes and then they sit for about two months before they get four coats of, of paint on them. Um, and then you have to paint them every three years thereafter. Mm. And the boxes should last a lifetime because the coconut paint is a treatment for the timber. Yep. And you only do that because you like using WSP depth and... Um, I do that because I don't like buying boxes over and over again. Well, that as well, but new plast doesn't make a WSP size. So you can, well, the plastic hives don't come in a WSP size. So um, he does that just for those depth boxes, but he's using all the full depths as the recycled plastic as well. So these guys here have started packing a fair bit of honey into the brood. So that's telling us that they're getting ready for winter. And through all the hives today we've hardly seen pretty much no new wax which is also a sign that it's starting to back off a bit. This one here will be our first hive of the year that we start getting ready for winter I think. Yeah. Um, they've got two ideal supers. Uh, as you can see there's not much activity in the supers. We're going to so take we'll one off. We'll pull the frames out of these two supers, make one good super up yeah. and plonk it on top. And then they're winter ready. Winter ready. Right here you can see it from the inside. See the seal just moisture's just caught in the seal in the joints. One way that clay does look at that just disintegrates after one year. One way that Craig does is paint the joints and then put them together instead of putting the box together and then painting the box. See that the seal, the, the joins, oh, not making sense. You can see that the box has been built and then the box has been painted. So the moisture where the wood meets the wood for the joins is just rotted right through.